this video is going to be nuts. I don't know what I'm expecting from this, but I mean, I, I look at me right now. <laughs> I'm at my parents' house. This video is going to be a little offbeat from the normal, normal hard hitting content that I do, guys. I'm going to be fasting for three days, and after that, I'm going to do four days of carnivore. I'm going to be doing 100 push ups every single day. I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing yoga every single night, and I'm going to be taking cold showers only. And obviously, I mean, you can see I need a shower. So I'm no longer a travel YouTuber now, guys. I'm a self improvement YouTuber. Before I have my final meal for three days, let's do 100 push ups. Buddy. Two objectives in this video. Number one, we have to test our discipline. Do we have the discipline that we need to be great? Because this is, the guys, this is what greatness looks like. Number two, we're cleansing our body. That's the whole, that's the main goal. The two main goals. This is gonna be our final meal for three days. Eggs, mac and cheese, three squares of cake. One seventy two point three. So this is me, the beginning of the challenge, kind of like the before picture here. We'll see what happens after a week of this crap. I have to go take a cold shower now. Okay, about 69 degrees. Now I've just cranked all the way to cold. Here we go. Mmm. Okay, it's actually not that cold. I mean, it's cold, but it's not that cold. I don't know what to do. I, I don't know why I brought you guys here. This is weird. I'm gonna get, get out. Get out! <laughs> the water got a lot colder as I was showering. I was gonna say. We were at 60 degrees Fahrenheit there. All right, so I gotta let the water run a little bit, but it gets freezing. It got freezing cold. It is now 6.42. It's time to do some yoga. Day one done. Job's not done. The battle is won, but the war is still ongoing, guys. We still got six more days of this bull crap. Oh my gosh! Good lord. It's day two, I'm hungry, I've got a headache, but I'm gonna do push-ups. good lunch which is 320 so it's not even it's past lunchtime so I forgot how boring fasting is because I was just thinking while I was doing yoga I thought wow it would be really fun to try to eat a whole cake at this very moment we're 36 hours in to the fast I am hungry. Day three. I'm letting the water run. I want to get it to 60 degrees. I'm going to hop in. I'm not looking forward to this one. Golly. Oh, frick. I feel weak. I have a slight headache. Um, if you do a fast for over 48 hours, you should supplement electrolytes. That's why I ordered some liquid IV. It was supposed to come yesterday, but it's coming today. So as soon as I get that, I am pumping it straight through the bloodstream, through the veins, injecting it. I have a syringe. We're gonna film it. It's gonna be great. There's gonna be blood everywhere. It's gonna be, it's gonna be very YouTube acceptable. You guys are gonna love this. It's 
5.53, I got some electrolytes in me now. It's time to do some push-ups. Day four. I've got one hour left of the three-day fast. I've got a bag of meat. It's almost time to start the carnivore diet. I also ordered like 30 pounds of meat in the mail because I'm, this isn't just gonna be a four day carnivore diet thing, but it's just for the challenge sake. This is not the sharpest knife, but that's all right. This is grass fed, grass finished steak, by the way. We're gonna let the steak sit for about an hour. Let salt soak through the meat. That's what helps grass-fed steak get more tender, especially when it's top sirloin. As you can see, after three days of fasting, I have swimmed out. I have swim? I have swimmed down. You can, I can see it. I have slimmed down quite a bit. And I'll be honest with you, I feel, I don't feel the best. Like, I just feel weak. Oh my gosh. 166.1. In just three days, I've lost six pounds from fasting. quesadillas, I want cheese, mac and cheese, I want ice cream, I want, I want fruit, I want fruit. This part is still not enjoyable at all. You just gotta do it, you cannot let them tell you that. I'm a dying guy, I'm a dying guy now, they call me Tony Slick. That's what they call me back in the um, Italian place. Today was the hump day, we still gotta do yoga, but I think tomorrow's gonna be the hardest day. That's gonna be the day where discipline has to really kick in. I, I'm, I, you know what, we're just gonna do it, okay? This, it just, I, I, we're gonna try. And welcome to a glorious Monday afternoon. package is a solid 32 pounds. Grass fed, grass finished. This steak, I believe, is from Australia. Got a bag of bones here. This is a five pound bag of bones. We got two strip loins here, two top sirloins. New challenge, we have to finish this, all this steak in the next three days. Can we do it? We're gonna try it, guys. Come on. I looked this up just to make sure, but this cut of meat, all the cuts of meat that I've ordered are specifically sourced from Tasmania. I'm not sure where the bones are sourced from, though. Did not look that up. So what we're gonna do with some of the bones is we're gonna put them in a water bath with some salt in it. Oh my gosh, there's like 50 flies in here. This actually feels kind of good. You know what? I'm just gonna let it, I'm just gonna do this. Not really sure how much salt to add, but I'm just gonna add some salt here. We're gonna take some of the bones. I'm not gonna do all of them, but some of them. Just gonna let them soak. Take these, put these in the fridge. Ooh, it already looks disgusting. We're gonna let them cook for about 15 minutes here in the oven. Safe, there we go. All right, I think it's pretty well cooked here. All right, I, I'm gonna try to blow on this. It's still super hot. Oh, 
Whoa! Whoa, it tastes like, that literally is like butter. It's like popcorn. It's like buttered popcorn. Wow. That was friggin' delicious. I just wish I could have eaten it with bread because that's what you're supposed to do. I have a ridiculous amount of barbecue beef to eat, a pound and a half. As much as I love eating just meat, it I need to eat other things. Um, it, this is so boring. I don't know how people do this. It's so boring just eating meat. <laughs> Last day of the challenge, we got 100 push-ups, yoga, cold shower, and uh, another day of carnivore. And then that's it. So let's finish strong, and I'm gonna show you guys the results tomorrow. For my second to last meal of the challenge, I'm gonna have a bowl of eggs. Truthfully, what I really want right now is pizza. The final cold shower of the week, and I'm already ready for it to be over. So it's raining, I ran to Walmart, and this is the last day of the carnivore diet now. So I came here, got six donuts, and four cinnamon rolls, and smoked salmon. So I'm gonna have smoked salmon tonight, and then all day tomorrow, I'm just gonna eat my face off. This is what I bought right here. So, <laughs> just for myself. I deserve a little treat, guys. Twelve seventeen, Friday. We're gonna go weigh ourselves, and then I'm gonna give my final thoughts. All right, there we go. 163.6. So I lost like eight to nine pounds. I forget what my original weight was. While doing carnivore, I'm still losing weight because my body is burning fat instead of sugar for energy. So those results are pretty good. Honestly, if you wanna lose weight fast, carnivore diet, you'll, you'll crush pounds. I don't know if you can tell a difference or not. I'll only be able to tell once I edit the video, but probably there will be a, there will be a little bit of a difference. But there you go. I'm going to, I'm going to munch on these donuts. It's going to be really ugly. Before I end the video, I have some quick thoughts to say about this challenge thing. I don't, I don't even know what this is. I don't know why I did this. Actually, I do know why I did this. This really wasn't for a YouTube video. I mean, I filmed it just to have fun but this is really more so about discipline. So here's some quick thoughts. Number one, if you're gonna do a fast longer than 48 hours, make sure you have some sort of electrolyte supplement that you can take, because otherwise you're just gonna have a headache the whole fast, it's not gonna be fun. Number two, carnivore diet isn't for everybody. Um, it's not for me, I feel a lot better when I'm consuming carbs. I've done a carnivore diet many times before and I've fasted many times before. It's just a good thing for me personally to get reset, to reset my body. But if you wanna lose weight, for sure do carnivore diet. Also, Wednesday, I this might be TMI, but I had in, insane, insane explosive diarrhea. Okay, it was ridiculous. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't bad, but it was just a lot. Prepare, there, there's a possibility that you're gonna get diarrhea, your stomach is gonna do insane things, your digestive system is gotta get used to all the protein and the fat that you're consuming, so just prepare for that. Number three, 100 push-ups a day keeps the doctor away, that's what I say. Um, honestly, I've been doing lots of push-ups even before this challenge. I feel like I should have done more push-ups I should have upped the ante and set a higher goal for push-ups. You know, maybe didn't done 200 push-ups a day, but I was fasting, so fasting, you're not really supposed to exercise when you fast. That's why I only stuck to 100. Number four, in terms of the yoga aspect of this challenge, and this is sort of advice for everybody, this is 
for everyone, okay? Make sure you guys are incorporating stretching or some kind of yoga, something, something to get the body moving every single day. Make sure you're stretching your hips, keeping everything loose, uh, so that way when you get to old age, you're not stuck in a wheelchair, you can still walk, you're still independent. That's why I do yoga, so that way, because I'm thinking long play here, guys. A lot of people are thinking short play. A lot of people thinking short term, right? People thinking now and then. People saying be present. I say no. I th I'm living in the past and the future. All right, guys, enough of this present talk. And number five, last thing, cold showers. I'd highly recommend it, although I wouldn't just do straight up cold showers. I would do what I am going to do and what I did before the challenge even is I would start with hot water and then slowly transition to cold water. That way, that way it makes it a little more palatable for yourself and it's a little bit easier, but cold showers, they make you feel incredible. I mean, it's like, yeah, it sucks. It sucks while it's happening, but then once you're done with it, after like two to three minutes in, in the freezing cold shower, in the freezing cold water, you shut it off, then you get a rush of warm, of warmness, like a blanket on your body. It feel, I honestly, it feels great, and it's great for your skin, supposedly, and that is another thing. I noticed, not consuming sugar and cold showers, my skin has definitely cleared up, like my skin looks good. Well, thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, this video was probably really offbeat. This this video was offbeat from what I usually do. I'm just not traveling right now, so so you're gonna have to deal with these videos, guys. Now, this probably might be the only type. This might be the only video I make of this type of quote unquote content, self improvement. I don't even know, self cleansing, whatever this is. Speaking of cleansing, I got donuts to take down. See you guys when I see you. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> All right, goodbye. <laughs> Bye, guys.